Yes. Um, so Mark from Foil Sleeves. So um, I painted my board this week and had a, some great feedback online from people who wanted to know how I did it. So the thing is with these Fanatic Skywings, they've got this really cool matte uh, red finish, but they scratch really, really easily. So what I wanted to do is just find a fun way to cover up the scratches. I decided to put this carbon effect on it. Um, you can see it's pretty effective, actually. Um, it's worked really, really well. Uh, I've done it top and bottom. Um, so in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. Um, and it's pretty simple, to be honest, uh, but there's a few things you need to know. So look, the first thing is um, you need to like practice on something um, before you uh, before you get going because it's always good like you've got to get a feel for how the how the materials work so i'd always recommend to practice just get a piece of wood a piece of old crap just uh, give give it a trial because you can see the way there's lots of different ways of doing the patterning it's up to you how you want to do it right there's some stuff you're going to need so basically the first is you're going to need some paint now depending on the color of your board depends on the paint color of course you need an acrylic or uh, an enamel paint just a, a normal spray can will be fine you're going to need some mineral thinners or some turpentine i don't know what you call it in your country but some some mineral thinners you're going to need a sponge because this is how we get the effect basically how we get the dragging effect of the carbon you're going to need a rag um, and then some other stuff um, in terms of uh, just bits and pieces to be able to clean up. I use a glove for this because the, the thinners and stuff is pretty pretty nasty stuff. So um, probably good to wear a glove. Look, the, um, the first thing uh, is in terms of sponges, right? You can use any sponge for this. This is a sponge I got from an art shop. It was like 70 cents or something. But an, any old sponge you wash the car with also works. Just cut bits off it, right? So you don't wreck, so you don't use the whole sponge. But any sponge kind of works for this. Um, now, second thing, paint color. So basically the color you do is completely up to you. Um, what I did for this board, let's just look here a second, is I got a red that was close to the, to the, to the red of the board. And then I, then I added in some black, right? And what I did for that was I actually used like some enamel paint from a model shop. Uh, and you can mix these up, right? They're all, they're all kind of very similar because they're oil based, they will mix together. So it's up to you exactly what you want to do. Um, but you basically need to like mix the paint color you want. So I'm going to do that now, right? There's a trick here, which is really cool, um, which is if you are trying to um, decant paint from a can, what you can do is you can actually just tape a straw on the nozzle, okay? And then when you, when you uh, spray the can, it'll actually like drip out in pools of paint onto um, where you want to mix it. So that's a really good tip. So get a straw, any old crappy straw. Uh, if you tape it to the nozzle, you can actually decant neatly. I'm just going to do this, so we'll fast forward this bit. I'm just going to put some paint onto the onto the thing. Okay, if you want to make it darker, okay, all you do is you use a little bit of extra paint, um, like I said. Now this de totally depends on your board and whatever color it is. But if you get a little bit of this and mix it in, you can see it works fine, right? You can get whatever color you need. Just mix it all up. You're gonna need a plate or something to do it from uh, because basically now this is the trick. So what you do is you take your sponge, okay? And you basically just dip it in the paint, okay? Now I'm using this surfboard uh, basically as a, as a test for you today. It's an old surfboard I got, I don't really care about it. But look, this is the thing, right? So what you do is you just wipe the sponge on onto the board, okay? And you can see, depending on how much paint you've got on it, it starts to leave a streak, all right? Do it like across the rails, do it like in interesting, you, you might be able to pat it, but basically just streak, just streak across the board in quite random maneuvers, okay? And you can see it's a bit heavy on the nose, that's okay, because what you do, okay, don't be scared of it, you've got to just go for it, right? Now I'm going to do this bit quickly because we've got to we've got to kind of get on with it. I'm going to put the glove on, but whilst it's um, whilst it's still a little bit wet, what you need to do is to grab your thinners, okay? Put some on a rag, and basically come and rub at it. And if you look here, what we're doing is because it's still quite wet, it's taking a lot of it away, but it gives this really cool effect. And if you've gone heavy, too heavy somewhere, just rub it, right? Rub it away. It's all good. Okay. And basically, if you think you, you know, want to change the shape, if there's some here, if you say, I don't want this anymore, just rub it away. It'll clean off. Okay. 
So don't be scared of it, but just by, by re being really light with the thinners, you can end up getting like a really cool streak effect. Okay, and rub as hard as you want. But once it's dry, it's done. Okay, you, I mean, you can get it off again, but it's gonna be super hard. So that's basically the effect. Um, and you know, the amount of, what, what I did with my board is do it piece by piece, okay? Because if you, if you streak the whole board and then come back with the thinners, it'll be dry, you won't be able to do it. So do it bit by bit. The first bit you do should be like somewhere where you're okay to experiment a bit. Um, but basically, so like do, for instance, on this board, I did like one half of the nose, rubbed it down. Second half, rubbed it down. Do not put paint all over the board or it'll dry, okay? And that's all you have to do. And you can see like, even now, like it's been what, a couple of minutes, but this will still come off if I rub it hard enough. Okay, so you just need to, you know, you don't panic. You've got time to fix any things you mess up. It looks really, really good if you put it on the rails and if you put it like here, like around the fit, around the foil box, like and around the handle, uh, can look really, really good if you put it around those areas. But that's it, man. So, so my, my, my main tip is like practice somewhere, okay? Practice anywhere, just because you've got to get a feel for like how the sponge works and how much paint to put on. Um, and you know, when you're wiping it down, uh, you know, if you're worried that you made a mistake, just wipe it off, man. It's all good. You've got time, but you have to, um, you have to just do it, just do it step by step. So that's it. That's the secret. Now, I think what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to spray some matte top coat on it, uh, just, just, a, no, just for, from a car, um, from a car accessory shop, uh, just to seal it down probably. But um, I don't think you even need it because it's enamel or acrylic paint. It won't come off right once it's dry. Um, but that's it really. So, um, but you got to, you got to go for a day. Like once you commit to doing it, just cause it will work out fine. It's random. Um, you can, you can like dot with the sponge and stuff. You don't always have to streak it, but um, you've got to kind of go for it. Cause once you're committed, you're going to paint the board. So have fun, but that's it. It's pretty simple. So I um, hope it turns out well.